if you're thinking about what's a good whiskey, it's thinking about who you're drinking the whiskey with, why you're drinking it, how you're enjoying it. It's a way for us to be able to share a great moment in time and enjoy an amazing whiskey as well. I'm Dr. Emma Walker and I'm the Johnny Walker Mass Splendor. My career journey so far started at school, at university, studying chemistry. So I studied chemistry at Edinburgh University, then did a PhD at the University of Sheffield. Worked as a process chemist cleaning at GlaxoSmithKline before I saw a job advertised for a project scientist for Diageo. Applied for it, came along for the interview and was interviewed by Dr. Jim Beveridge, Caroline Martin, Maureen Robinson, all these great names of the whiskey world and I had that realisation that you could be a whiskey scientist. I lead a team of 12 whiskey blenders or whiskey makers for Johnny Walker and for Diageo and we're responsible for all of our scotch portfolio. So we blend, we put together the liquid that goes for bottling for our blended scotch whiskies, our single malts and our single grains. To become a master blender, to be able to blend whiskey, you need to be able to know as a glass of whiskey, be able to talk about the flavours, the aromas, the textures when you try it as well, be able to talk about that. As a chemist, that helps me because it helps me to almost break down an idea. So if I get asked to look at either creating a new liquid or figuring out how we're going to create a, a different style of flavour, you can almost use a scientific process to break it down of what do you want to achieve, how do you achieve it. It just helps you to understand what are the compounds, the, the flavour molecules that are created. So there are now whiskies made all around the world, Scotland, Ireland, America, Japan and lots of other places in between as well. Uh, each of those whiskies will have their own rules, regulations, and they are very much a product of the country that they're made in. Within Scotland, there's a number of different whiskies that been, can be created within Scotch regulations. So you have whiskey that's only created at one single grain distillery, it's a single grain whiskey. Whiskey that's created at one single malt distillery is a single malt whiskey. You can have blends of malt whiskey, so that's a blended malt Scotch whiskey. And if you put grain and malt whiskies together into one whiskey, that's where you open up the world of blended Scotch whiskey and Johnny Walker. In Diageo and Johnny Walker, we've got nearly 11 million casts of mature and whiskey to pick from. And they're created from 30 or more different distilleries. We've got a whiskey that suits every preference, every flavour profile. There is something there in Scotch whiskey that you will enjoy. So Scotch whiskey has to be made in Scotland. It has to be matured in Scotland. And it has this amazing range of flavours that you get that are made from decisions from generations of people from the four corners of Scotland where it's made. So it has this unique, wide-ranging palette of flavours that for me, it can only be achieved in Scotland. I still don't think of myself as being a trailblazer. Moving into the role of Johnny Walker Master Blender for me was such an honour. Being able to follow in the footsteps of Dr Jim Beveridge, someone I'd worked with for years, and being asked to take on that mantle was huge. It was such a massive thing. I was so proud of that. Thinking about it as being the first female to do that job was something that I probably wasn't at the forefront of my mind. It was just about getting that role. But as I've got to talk to more and more people over the past year from different parts of the world, and they're talking about the impact that has on when they're talking to their customers, when they're talking to their families and how important it is for them to see a woman in this role. It really does sort of strike out home how, how much of a change it is. But for me, I'm just really proud to be the Johnny Walker Master Blender. If I think back across my career, my PhD, all that time, I think some of the advice that was always really important to me was keep hanging on. If you're on a bad day, it gets better. But I think the advice I would give is, is be yourself, but just try and learn as much as you can. Try and absorb as much information, as much knowledge from all the different people you're working with and you get to interact with. Because it just all sparks ideas about what different roles, different opportunities are out there.